So we need now admin controller. If we look it in the controllers, we don't have anything here for the admin. We have the auth folder in here. Probably we can place the 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 second controller that is for login, but that's later. Now, what I want here is to create. Control C. Okay, actually, one more thing that I want to show you because remember I open up here and show you that the admin table what's inside, but you can do the same thing through Tinker. So all you need is to say DB table. Oops. Ah, uh, come on, DB table and admins. And you need to use the word get. No, not like that. Uh, what I did had wrong there. Come on, DB table admins get. Now you should be able to see all the table. Here it is. One here, it's actually one entry inside that's why you can see this this is another way i can also show you next time how you can see all of the tables and after that use the table you want to see instead of going like this that's one way now i'm going to control c i'm exiting there now what i want to do is i'm going to create admin controller and so php artisan and make controller admin controller and let's make it with resources by the way if we don't need anything we're going to delete it here it is the admin controller now the index i just want to return view admin index right now if you're asking why i'm doing this because in a web we had this function i'm just going to comment this part First, I'm going to copy and then, then I'm going to comment. Now, we need to change this way here. Now, we're not going to use the function anymore, but we, we are going to use the controller. Admin, the controller, and that will hit the index, right? Now, we shouldn't have any PHP artisan route list. Now, we do have this same admin. Now, if I go back, remember here we have web. This is middleware. It's not guard. So it's a different thing. Don't get confused. Now, I still should be able to point out because we haven't done anything. Now, the guard, actually, how we can specify this is I want everywhere, everyone that it goes there, I want to have, so public, to be authenticated so double underscore construct so we're going to build a construct here and i'm going to say okay this middleware and if you put it off i'm going to save it now i'm going back here look at this we don't have we have only web now if I go to up and down arrows, if I go to the admin, look at this. We have the auth. And now, ladies and gentlemen, because I am not logged in, I should not be able to go there. And it should be back to the login for the users. And that's normal. So one more thing that we can do, we can specify the guard that we already created in the auth wait in the auth.php remember we do we do have a guard admins it's actually here all right so now after this auth here we can just put an admin and if i refresh the list again it will be everything that we've done just auth admin right very good now we don't have the guest anymore now this guest guest is for when we are logging the users, right? Now we need to find a way how we can 
logging our admin. So by the way, now we have we we can't go there. We use the guard admin, but we actually don't we actually are not doing anything. Now we have two specific here. If I go back, we do have two specific. One is get and the other one is a post method. We do have the same name login. One we have well, one only have a name, and one is only for showing the form, login form, which is by the way, wait, by the way, this form. And the other one is hitting another in uh, another method called login. Now we can do this. We can do this, we can copy this one, and but we need to change a couple of things here. Now I'm just gonna close here, close the auth, close the web for now. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you this login control. This login control does have only construct guest except logout, nothing else. Now we need to see another one called control p that's why i'm not going to show you where it is so i'm just going to say authenticate authenticates users so this is a vendor laravel ui out backend here it is so it's in the vendor folder at the moment there it is in the laravel ui out backend and here it is now this one here has two one is returning the auth login form, and the other one is actually attempting to log in. Now, here it is, attempt to log in. We are going to do something similar, and it's verifying our credentials and stuff like that. So we're gonna do something similar for our uh, administrator. So, for doing this reason, what I'm going to do, I'm gonna create another, another, um, how to say another uh, controller, and that is PHP artisan make controller. Now, if you want to place this controller, wait, I'm gonna show you. If you wanna place this controller in this folder or directory, you need, for example, this is a login controller, and I want to do login admin controller. Now, if you wanna place it here, so you can say ah, you can specify the folder and I say login admin controller. And that's pretty much it. Now it's there actually in here. So you're not gonna see in the controllers here, but you're gonna see this here, by the way, in this folder directory, call it whatever you want. And this login admin controller extends the controller. Now inside this login and um, is, is stuck inside this one. We need to have one function. The first function is will be public function index, right? In this index will be actually I'm just gonna show you. Wait, return is gonna return view. View in this view, come on, what's happening to me? Uh, in this view, it will be play. It will be from auth folder login admin this view doesn't exist any anymore or a, at the moment now while i'm doing this here it's saying show login form and i'm doing the same thing instead of show login form i'm doing the index this is what i'm trying so i'm building the first part of the login authentication for the uh admins the second part will be actual at login form uh yeah login functionality now the first one is show login even you can name it show login here doesn't matter it's not gonna be this but the thing is that we need to create this login admin in this login admin view it's actually i'm just gonna close and in resources views here it is odd folder and there is this login blade remember we style this blade now I'm just going to copy this blade, control C and control V there, and I'm going to name it login admin. Right. So I'm going to rename it to login admin dot blade dot PHP. Excellent. Now we do have two problems. The first problem is we need to say here admin login. So I'm, I'm in the uh, uh, admin, this login admin blade. 
close this one you don't want to do it so also we need to change the route here or root we need to change we need to add the class here because i want to make the login form a little bit different for that reason i'm going to go to unsplash and let's type only admin and see what's gonna gonna come up now very thing so i'm doing this because you're asking all of the files for me when you can grab it admin lock maybe this one will be more appealing right now we can grab it some of the so i'm just i'm just gonna pause i'm not I don't, i'm not gonna pause the video so we do have this one but we need something and me creation okay maybe we're gonna use uh something like like this i'm gonna pause the video by the way guys i need to find a good image okay type security and scroll scroll choose whatever image you want i think this one is the the the, the very good so i'm just gonna download it and yep is it too big yeah just wait i'm gonna download it as small don't need this yes 127 kilobytes right so this is the image that i have and i'm gonna place it somewhere somewhere here first now download any image you want we can go back i'm just gonna close this part here and by the way uh, we need to uh, make npm run watch because we're gonna change we're gonna style a couple of things okay that is running in the background now here i do want to put some image here in yeah in the img folder because when we were styling i think we were using that folder so where is the image this is Florian Olive Olive I don't know. So thank you very much for sharing your image. I'm gonna say admin and I'm gonna place it there. Here it is. Admin and it's JPEG. Very good. Now we do have the image there. Now we want to go to the SAS. By the way, this is done. Yep, it is done. And we need to go to the components or layout and it's login right here now we are going to change this card img here and we need to add admin class now this class we will style it in the login part so i'm going to outside so i'm going outside this card here and i'm going to say admin and inside what i want is i'm going to say background Let's copy this one. Background size cover, and I don't want this image, by the way. Admin the JPEG, very good. So what else? And I'm gonna put it important. Important, very good. Now the cover, no repeat, opacity, 0.8. You make it opacity as whatever you want. Mm -hmm. now what else we need here is actually inside i'm going to access this card body image no we are going to we we just gonna so you save it we because i don't know if the image is gonna be too dark or too or not so admin wait something is happening here okay it's emitted now very good Next lecture, what we are going to do, we need to create routes for our login admin index because we don't have in the web, we don't have any routes for those. We need to create those routes and after that, we're gonna link this here. I know it sounds a bit of confusing, but you will see what we are trying to do. So what we did is only we create this login admin and that is in the folder auth that will be the same file as the login blade but it will be for administrator we had admin class here we had admin and we also need to change the route because we still haven't created 
from Unsplash, we download one image. And here we have done a little bit of styling. Before that, we did NPM run watch. Where was it? Here it is. NPM run watch because we want to save those things. So that's pretty much it. And I uh, wish I will see you in the next lecture. We also change this route and we make it to the admin controller. We don't have it here. Thank you very much. I hope you uh, like this lecture. It's a little bit difficult, but you will understand at the end everything. Don't worry about it.